Come with me, let's explore the beautiful, beautiful Moldova together. If you haven't, I would highly recommend you check out my Moldova video so that you have all the practical information about what to expect when you land in this gorgeous country. So check it out now before continuing with the video. Chisinau has a small but convenient airport. It's also quite modern and you can find places to eat or to just relax before your flight or after you're waiting for your taxi. You can also buy your SIM card here, which unfortunately I was a bit late for. I drew some cash and it was time to head to Chisinau. The airport is not too far from the city and it took about 30 minutes to get there and it cost about 10 pounds. I've arrived at my hotel, my residence from Moldova and this is where I'm staying. They've elected me the president of the country. Let's go. So big. I wish, I wish, but no. Apparently, you can just walk up and it's really, really cool. I really like that. I got an Airbnb pretty close to Stefan Chalmare Boulevard, which was really convenient. Finally found my perfect spa in Chisinau. Who would have known in Moldova? To get rid of all that London work-life crime, I went to a really nice spa called Nobile Spa and it was amazing. I actually made a separate video for it. Do check it out. The link is above. Apparently, it's bad manners to just go home after dinner. So we're gonna go try some stuff and see how the night ends. Let's go. First stop is to see, this is actually the presidency of Moldova. Wow, this is actually the presidential palace. It just kind of reminds me of Trump Tower for no reason. Sorry, I don't mean any offense to anyone watching in Moldova. But well, this is crazy, but right next to it is my favorite building in all of Chisinau, the National Opera Theater. Isn't it super cool that you can walk into your presidency at any time and do a photo shoot like these guys are doing? I've never seen this anywhere else. Well done, Moldova. I mean, look at that. I am seriously impressed. This is next level transparency. And obviously right opposite 
the presidency is the parliament. While that looks like a Trump Tower, this is a proper Soviet era building. I love this place and I love this night tour, it's amazing. And you know where the next stop is, right? So... Cheers. Now, you might think this is wine, but it's not. What is it then, you ask? I'm not gonna tell you. You have to come here and find that out for yourself. I'm gonna go finish this and we'll talk more later. Bye. Hello from Kishinev, from me as well as Ms. Veronica Mikle. Now, it's not what I expected this place to be. I saw some other vlogs and I was like, it's gonna be all broken buildings, beggars, poor people, and people basically longing for some sort of Russian revival. I just couldn't be further from truth, honestly, and she would totally agree. Moldova and Kishinev especially is very, very, very nice. It's very beautiful. Um, quite interesting uh, in terms of its architecture. So there's no old town or the old quarter of the city. Everything is almost, you know, new. There's a lot of Soviet architecture here that you can explore. And the city has two main streets, Stefan Mare, which is a boulevard. And the other one is the 31st of August, 1989 street. Both of these, streets if you've done them you can see pretty much I would say about 50-60% of things that you can see in Chisinau so don't forget to do these two streets taxis are very hard to find here you need high taxi or uh, Yandex taxi apps otherwise it's very hard to get by it's, it's honestly horrible I've never seen situations so bad anywhere and I'm here in August and the weather is absolutely pleasant, around 28 degrees, 28 to 30 degrees. Super nice and super amazing. I really, really love it here. So let's go see what else we can do here. And then I'll show you what else we can do in Moldova. Most of the Soviet era buildings, museums, as well as boutiques, restaurants, and even a lot of churches are located on the 31st August 1989 street. This is one street you definitely don't want to miss and it's actually a really pleasant street to walk on. Most of the people in Moldova follow the Orthodox Christian religion and actually found a really interesting Greek Orthodox church there on the same street. This 
turns out to be my favorite church in all of Moldova. From the National Theatre for Opera and Ballet, which is my favorite building, to Parliament and so many other buildings, you're never far from the Soviet brutalist architecture in Chisinau, and I love that. Kishina has some great wine bars and going to one is an absolute must and that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I am sitting in Stefan Cel Mare Park or Stefan the Great Park. It is located pretty much in the center of the city and if you're looking for places to live around here would probably be the best place um, to actually get an accommodation. For Chisinau, it's not Chisinau, it's Chisinau, right? Get your pronunciation right. I really, really like Stefan Chalmare Park, not because it was a very big or extraordinary park, but because it provides a little bit of a reprieve from the sun during the day. And it's a great place to see the people of Chisinau interacting with each other. It's a perfect place for people watching. This is Stefan Chalmare or Stefan the Great. Now, he's not the founding member of the current Moldova, but he is the founding member of the concept of Moldova. And he's the one who held the country together. Now, it didn't look like that back when he was a ruler, but the idea, the concept of Moldova comes from him. And down there, you can see the little bull, which you will also find inside the Moldovan flag. Now, the species is extinct, but he's still the national animal of Moldova. Right next to the park is Stefan Chalmare Boulevard, which hosts the Cathedral of Chisinau. And yes, you have guessed it right, it is a Christian Orthodox Cathedral. The building is quite simple from outside, but the moment you step foot inside, it changes and you are hit by almost an explosion of color. This is what I really like about Orthodox churches, that they use the colors freely to express their love and devotion.
In Chisinau, you just cannot avoid the Stefan Chalmare Boulevard. This is where a lot of beautiful buildings are located. And you will come across a lot of really interesting shops, places, these little hole in the wall bakeries where you can buy some breakfast and a lot of hotels and whatnot. So I've been told by a local that if I want to experience the Moldovan architecture, I need to come to this street, which despite trying like 10 times, I cannot pronounce correctly. So I gave it up, but you'll see the name here anyway. So let's go explore a little bit more of the Moldovan architecture and see what it is like. I don't know actually how to spot the Moldovan architecture, so I think it's kind of lame of me to try and do that. But I have to say, this is a very interesting street because as you go along, the architecture changes and there's very little here that's boring. So I would definitely recommend a stroll around Skusev Street and that's not its real name again. Walia Mordor Park is actually the biggest park in the city and it is a great place if you just want a little bit of time in the nature. It's also a great place if you want to see the local people, artists performing, whether it is singing or many other things. But generally it's a good spot to see the people of Moldova, to see the people of Chisinau. And what I really liked is that it is the perfect spot for the sunset and it has its own little lake inside. I'm heading to Orhei Vic and I'm at the central station in Chisinau, heading there. Let's go, I'll tell you the rest on the way or there because it's really loud here. Let's go. This is all from Chisinau for my first two days. Now it's time to head out. And for that, you need to check out the second episode of my Moldova travel vlog. <laughs>